Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can drop a cloth size in one week. It is guaranteed that you can drop a cloth size in one week. And um, what you need to do is to follow five strategies. And you need to do intermittent fasting because what happens is whenever you eat, you increase your insulin level. So you need to do intermittent fasting. You need to eat like two meals a day and have your first meal late morning and your second meal, your dinner towards the evening. And you must not snack in between, the, in between your two meals. So you have two meals in a day, one late morning and the other one your evening meal. No snacking in between. You can have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea in between your um, your meals, but make sure to avoid sugar. And if you're going to use milk, just be sure it's just a tiny bit of milk. And you need to include protein in your diet. So you need to have about 85 to 170 grams of protein in your diet. You need to eat a lot of vegetables and you need to add some fat to your diet as well. Your insulin level will not go up when you eat this fat and what can also help you as well is you need to eat, drink about one glass of um, water with two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar so if you have apple cider vinegar buy the if, if you're buying apple cider vinegar buy the one that contains the mother buy the organic raw unfiltered one that contains the mother so just add two teaspoons of it um, sorry two tablespoons of um, apple cider vinegar into your water it depends on if you're used to drinking apple cider vinegar some people are used to it and they can have they can drink more than the other so if you're used to it, you can use tablespoon if you're not used to it, you can use two teaspoons so two teaspoons will be ideal for everyone in 200 about 200 minutes of water and then drink this before each of those meals and then you need to avoid anything that will cause you stress. You need to have at least about eight hours sleep. You because you burn more fat when you're sleeping. So six hours sleep would not really be sufficient when you're doing this regime. So you need to have about eight hours sleep. What I would advise to cut out anything that will stress you up at those times and um, avoid watching um, programs that can cause you anxiety or that can stress you up. You can watch things like comedy to help you uh, to get to go to sleep. Because when you watch programs that will stress you up, it, they prevent you from falling asleep and your mind keeps racing. You could be angry because of what, maybe you've watched the news and it's been unpleasant. So avoid anything that will prevent you from sleeping going to bed early or f being able to fall asleep easily. I've made a video on how you can get decent sleep at night. I will leave a link in the description box. So check the description box for the link to this video and watch it if you're having problems getting a good night's sleep. And then you need to do sh some short duration high intensity exercise. You need to do this every two days. Whole body, it has to be high intensity exercise whole body high intensity exercise but short duration you need to do it for a short period and then do it every um do it every two days don't do it every day and on those days that you are not doing this high intensity exercise you need to do some walking so go for a long walk on those days that you don't do some high intensity exercise and then you can take some potassium citrate as well to replenish your potassium because when you burn fat you lose potassium so if you take from potassium citrate then it, it helps to replenish the one you're losing and the drink you're having the apple cider vinegar as well helps you to replenish your potassium because it um, it's, uh, balances your pH and it reduces your, the alkalinity of your body. So it helps to boost your potassium level. And um, your potassium will reduce your insulin level and it will enhance your sleep and help you to relax and give you a lot of energy as well. And then you can take a teaspoon of nutritional yeast a day. This will also help you to boost your potassium. The longer you follow this regime, the more drop, uh, clothes size you are able to drop. So if you really want to drop more than one cloth size, and then you can do this for over more than a week. The longer you do it, the more you lose. So, but you have to be dedicated. You need to follow these five procedures to be able to actually to, to actually achieve losing um, 
weight dropping one size one clothes size in a week so if you like this video if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe leave your comments and your questions below i will post the link to the video for the, this how you can get a good night's sleep in the description box so please check the description box for this video and i will see you in the next video bye